Looks like LexCorp just released a video game. It's become a global phenomenon in eight hours. Sebastian manifests his powers in a sinister new way. Dick and Rachel encounter black magic, and this could be the end for Bernard and Tim. Hello, entertainment enthusiasts. This is Ray, and this is the Fandom Realm. And today, I am reviewing episode number 10 of season 4 of Titans, entitled Game Over. As always, spoilers abound, so just be aware. Okay, before we go on, everyone, I do just want to real quickly ask if everyone will consider hitting that subscribe button before we get started. I, it means so much to me. I appreciate all of you all so much uh, who are subscribing to the channel and watching the reviews. Uh, it means a lot. And I do have a new goal. It's a big goal, but my birthday is June the 11th, and I'm wanting to hit 400 subscribers by June the 11th. That's about five a day. So I think if we keep working and if you'll just hit that subscribe button, I think we can hit that. Now, Last time on Titans, Gar uncovered secrets from his past as he was confronted with his connection to the Red. With that, let's take a look at Game Over. Okay, so uh, this is ch this is episode ten. What is that in the house? What the fuck? Well, you look like... Okay, Doom Patrol people back. You've been asleep for three days. <laughs> As I've said, I'm not a big Doom Patrol fan. You could tell us. Everything was a hell of a lot less George at the jungle around here until you rode up. Not gonna lie, it's just, uh, it's not one of the something I like. You gonna tell us why we've been mowing Mother Nature's bush for the past 72 hours? I know why other people do like it, but it's just not me. This complete? There's apparently no way out. Okay, so they're trapped in a house. Why do they even take him back there? Morning. Where May Bennett's marionette strings aren't pulling you out of bed. Okay, so what's Connor up to here? You don't know anything about me. Well, I know you haven't blown that horn. And he's not very independent with May around. That's programming code. Okay, we know he was doing a game earlier. Something that will bring the whole world together. Computers. Join me at LexCorp. See, he's given him a choice where May doesn't. Whatever's in that book, I can make it a reality. And of course he's going to be tempted by that. When's the last time someone did that for you? Has May Bennett ever? That's a good question. Call the number on that card if you want to believe in dreams again. All right, so it's out there. I, I thought if we were going to change the world, I might have time to at least grab a couple. So coffee. then after he talks to Connor, he comes back in May acting like this. I would love to see Metropolis be the first bra to its knees. She's not really even caring about him. What? How come you never asked me what I want? And she hasn't. She's never asked that. <sighs> oh. You're nothing. I mean, dang, girl, come on now. No! Oh, yeah. There you go, Sebastian. Are they actually going to kill her right now? That would be awesome if they do. I just don't like her character at all. Okay, this first set of clips is just setting up. It's the beginning. Uh, I think this is actually everything before it's the cold open. And so it sort of sets us up from last week where we were at uh, basically seeing our boy Gar um, experience the red. I'm going to be so glad when I don't have to hear anything else more about the red. Um, but that sort of continued on to bring in his 
a former family from the Doom Patrol. Again, it's not that I'm a huge, uh, it's not that I hate them, they're just not my thing. I am formally taking over all LexCorp operations as the new CEO. Okay, that's interesting. His creation. Consider me his son. And I thought Mother Mayhem's people had taken over LexCorp. Expect to see LexCorp's influence grow across the globe. Okay. Capitalism and conscience don't have to be enemies in a zero-sum game. I mean, true, using capitalism for good. So Connor's playing Lex and teaming up with Sebastian. Well, that's got to be suspicious. May Bennett offered Sebastian Armageddon. What did Connor offer him to get him standing on that stage? Very good observation, Dick. He cut you with a knife and he bled the same way. Whatever happens to him could happen to you. So that's that could be a p potential problem. If I have to die to stop it, then better me than Corey. No one has to die. Agreed. Boy, their obsession with no one dying. When it's not, the connection is genetic. You can't just recode DNA with spells. If they only knew how much more effective the show was if someone actually died. Look, I'm going to go prep us on Baby Luther and Mr. End of the World. All right. So here we... Wow, wait a minute. The door! Hey! So I guess the Red is taking her to the Doom Patrol as well. <laughs> Ouch, what a left hand there. That's not nice. Oh my gosh! Are you okay? Yeah, have you so, guys been okay? Gar reunited with Corey. Gar, where are we? I think we would all like to know that a little bit. Sorry, Corey. We're trapped here. So we're, we have to figure out, out a way to get out. Courtesy of the new LexCorp. All Doesn't seem to be much in that office takes over if your game is viable i don't see a limit in consumer adoption i like how he points out if it's viable we can lead consumers to a game but we can't make them play it well that is the absolute truth if it doesn't succeed we iterate and try again if at first you don't succeed try try again i'm not that little kid at the police station anymore you don't need a Give me a jacket and tell them everything's going to oh, be Oh, giving us thoughts back to the first season. I spoke to my friend in London. He thinks this ritual might help. Okay. I wonder who the friend in London is. It's the kind of thing that requires a price. Like I said, it's your choice. Okay. Um, everybody that's listening to this at this point, um, does anybody know who this friend of Dick's in London would be? Right off, um, I'm not exactly sure, and I'd love to know in the comments. So if anybody can leave that in the comments, I'd appreciate it. But basically here we are seeing, basically Connor's wanting to get Sebastian's game out there, and he's going to use uh, Luther LexCore uh, to do it. And I just don't think he knows what he's uh, trying to put out there right now. And, um, of course, also, this idea of not killing someone and not having anybody die, it's such a weakness of superhero shows. Oh, he's doing something he probably shouldn't be. Oh, that's the horn. Wait, it's supposed to be heavy? Okay, what was that supposed to accomplish? Okay, he's hearing things now.
Sorry. Oh, when, when I first watched that, I didn't understand what happened right there. Soon, Sebastian Sanger will make himself known to the world. He sucked all that dust in so Sebastian wouldn't know what he'd done. To the future. To the future. I don't know how I missed that when I first saw this show. I'm sorry about hitting you. I thought you were attacking me. Oh, totally understandable. Was he brushing a giraffe? So this is the red. It's a dimension of pure life. Okay, there's the red again. Eventually, I think we'll hopefully get over that. It doesn't tell you directly what it wants. You have to figure it out. Okay. That's what we did all last episode. You didn't save my life. You created the virus that killed my parents. Ah, uh, talking about the doctor. I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy to hear that, really. Gar seems to have reacted better to that. Maybe there's something you need to balance. I don't have time to find balance right now. And Corey's way out of balance, so she's got to find something. I didn't kill Sebastian when I should have. And now he's winning. So I just... And, you know, that's, that's a lot of that guilt that somebody would have. To do this? This is who I was told to find. Okay, so now we're getting into this black magic type stuff. We begin. Boy, they found the perfect person to look like a witch. Brother of blood, you will give it form. Okay, so we're trying to get that part of Sebastian out of her. There's no blade. Okay, a knife without a blade. Your faith will make the blade. Okay, yeah. so we are relying on magic. Okay, so uh, let's see here. In this uh, section, uh, the big thing here is we're, we're going back to magic. And I think I have mentioned several times in reviews for Titans how much I don't like magic in the Titans universe. I think it's a cop out for the universe and it's one of those things that it just can get you out of a lot of trouble and you haven't earned it. Okay. Um, like this friend of Dick's who is the Dick friend key and your vision is all over the globe. And couldn't he have used that friend uh, earlier on? And, of course, why does the friend just come come right out and, and send him to this one? Looks like LexCorp just released a video game. It's become a global phenomenon in eight hours. Okay, so that's a little interesting in the writing there. Yeah. Thank you. Like brain crack or something. Like... That didn't make sense to me. I don't know if it was a cut or what. But the problem was, she said he just released it, but it had become a hit in eight hours. You know, that was, it was just an odd, little odd thing, and it's one of the consistent problems with Titans. No. Oh, not Bernard. That would be horrible. I may have added a little something to our game. Yeah, just a little, I think. Now everybody's addicted to it. And through it, they become a part of me. Boy, that's that's sinister. I can tell you. Very sinister. The world. All connected. I mean, everybody's not going to play this stupid game. I wonder if this is what God feels like. Wow. Power really going to his head now. They're martyrs. For our cause. So all these people are going to die. Take a seat. So why would you want them to die? Wouldn't you want to keep them alive so they keep powering you? 
All right, maybe Connor is just a little upset. Into the light, I command thee. All right, so it looks like Dick can do spells as well. Oh, she just spit something out. Okay, this is the manifestation of Sebastian that the connection she has. Oh, that's that's interesting. I like that. Oh, it's connected to me. It's feeding on me. Definitely something we haven't really seen before. Clipposaurus opens a can of Johnny Mac on your asses. Let's go. Okay, so we're playing some type of tennis here. Yeah, I think that was a fault. And ask it for a friend. Could you try not to suck so hard? <sighs> yeah, I just, I don't like those characters. They just don't make a lot of sense to me. Uh, I think you guys should see this. All right, so... Maybe this is going to be something to help. I don't want to go back to another psychopath. This is good for Corey, talking about what her feelings and what she feels. I was here. I don't need to hate him to stop him. Exactly. And that's what superheroes need to remember. I'm going back because I love when he's trying to destroy. Absolutely. Best written line of the, the last few episodes. We don't know the cause. Okay, so not looking good for Bernard. Whatever it is, it's happening to people all over the world. Now the crisis to the... And it's just going to devastate Tim. Okay, the big thing I'm going to talk about from this set of clips is I'm just talking about Corey and sort of what she said in these clips, basically the idea that she doesn't want to go back to a psychopath and that uh, she doesn't have to hate somebody basically to defeat them or need to defeat them. And, you know, I think that's what we lose sometimes in superhero shows. And I think that's a little bit of what we've lost in Titans for four seasons is sometimes people just do bad things. You have to stop them. It doesn't mean you have to hate of the person they just have to be stopped now guys i'll be honest i know they're doing tim drake into robin death. whatever sebastian's doing i think it's creeping in here i mean we i have seen uh, pictures of him in the suit well let's not look a gift back door in the asshole I just hope they don't wait until the just the end of the last Ready? episode. It says that we're trapped because of you. <laughs> I mean, was that cursing necessary? Guys, we'll help. <laughs> I mean, I'm all for cursing. I'm all for dirty. But I mean, come on, it's got to fit. The end of the movie, Sonny did himself. He smuggled T4 to, to blow up the roof. That's it. I didn't follow that conversation the best. But Connor's turning into a bat, and it looks like the other guy has become a energy. Oh, yeah. So what exactly was he shooting at? Hey, look who I brought with me. <laughs> well, whatever he was shooting at, it seemed to have worked. Tim, what's wrong? I know what Sebastian and Connor are doing. Okay. Good boy. The player icon always makes his pattern. All right, so that's a, a witchcraft type deal. Oh, was it the Temple of Azeroth? So Sebastian created a game that's also a spell. Going back to those spells. Okay, so they've been fighting, and it Not is gone. Over 18. We can't leave anyone out, Connor. This is too important. 
Well, I'm glad to see that uh, Lex Gore had... Naughty or nice, they will all take part. I'm glad Lex Gore had something on there protecting teenagers to start with. I can see Lex Corp and corrupt their servers and delete the game on any device connected to the internet. Okay, if you can do that, that would be great. Bastion is killing the world with evil Donkey Kong. Break the law, Tim. <sighs> That's what I'm saying all the time. It's an external attack on the server. By whom? Okay, so basically this section, uh, we're seeing something going on. I'm, we've got Gar has uh, returned along with Corey. Whatever was happening in that alternate reality in the red must have been resolved. I think what we talked about uh, the last uh, break about Corey, I, I think that probably helped resolve the issues for both her and Gar. And that brought them all back to, let's just say, the present. And, you know, I really think it's interesting that LexCore had a system set up that would keep the game from going to anyone under 18. It's just sort of fun. Are we positive I can't stop this by just blowing something up? Hey, if we could, that would be great. Backdoor. Forget it. They'll never be that sloppy. Okay, backdoor, of course, going back to that stupid thing. I'll tell you, he's nasty looking, that's for sure. Okay, so Connor using his super speed to help here. So now they're going to think they shut it down, and it was actually Connor. I mean, come on, just pick her up by the head. Jeez. Hey, Oakley. Hey, the blade appeared. Good. Okay, so that's stabbing the alternate, like, Sebastian self or whatever. And it falls away and dies. So now I guess she's free. Originally, I thought that was because of what just happened with Rachel. So when do I get to meet your friend? He's not the kind of friend you want to have. But that reaction was actually because the game went down. About Rachel. I can't feel her anymore. And of course, that reaction is because of the severed tie with Rachel. I'm sorry, Sebastian. Boy, Connor being all sly. Millions of people would be hurt if you hadn't destroyed Sebastian's game. I mean, come on, you could wake him up at this point. There's no reason to leave him laying there if you're not going to actually. Kill I had a look him. at the event protocol for Tim's hack. We didn't break their security. Someone over there let us in. Okay, we know that was Connor. Ooh, is that is that May? Sebastian. Oh, that is May calling to Sebastian. Dead gone. Without trying to power, you will always be not. Oh, I hate you. She dies a really good death. I mean, how'd she not burn to death? Come on. Okay. Uh, big, big thing here and um, is basically we got the game shut down. We got uh, Gar back and so and Corey back. So now this is episode 10 and we have two episodes left. So we've got the last two episodes to try to defeat Sebastian and Mother May. Now, with that, that actually is going to end our recap portion. But I am going to go into my review portion now. And and as always, my review portion basically is me talking about things I like and things I disliked, ups and downs, and then just rambling a little bit. But I really, honestly, guys, said most of what I wanted to say uh, while we were going through the recap. So I'm going to try to keep this rather short. I know I always say that, but I'm going to try to do that at the time. 
Now, I just wanted to point something out here um, on this this last part, I guess, and that is basically uh, sort of I'm liking this idea of Connor sort of playing the middle here. He's sort of testing his light. He's we've already seen his light side. Now we've seen his darker side, and now we're sort of in the gray area. I think now that he realized sort of what Sebastian up to, and so I think that is very important. Now I do just want to th uh, throw in there too, and I'm going to say this is a a little bit of a negative but why is tim sorry why is uh bernard still unconscious okay why do they seemingly kill him in the first place okay this is going to be one of my uh, uh this is going to be an occasion that i can uh, tell you about one of my big no-nos and that is don't presumably kill people for no reason and don't presumably kill people then realize oh we're going to bring them back to life and then well kill them again uh that has never gone gone over with me well and i hope that's not what they're getting ready to do here and um that is uh, a big for me now another thing here and it's more of just a ramble than anything else but i'm a little disappointed we haven't gotten to see tim drake as robin there were some and this is a spoiler so you probably already know it if you're watching this there are have been some photos leaked of tim drake in the robin costume and so with that i'm expecting to see him i'm hoping maybe we're going to see that in the next Next episode because I was wanting to see it for more than just like two episodes especially now that we know Titans has been canceled and so it'll probably be the only time we get to see Tim Drake as Robin and I really was looking forward to it, so I, I was hoping to hoping to get him in there as Robin quite a bit but it looks like it's going to be less than two episodes now like I said um, I said most everything during the recap so I don't really have much else to rant and rave about here but with that I do want want to talk about the episode sort of a grade wise although i'm trying to get away from giving grades i tend to do it anyway and i think i can give this episode a solid b minus okay i'm going to tell you the last couple episodes have been in the c low c or high d plus range and so i, I really enjoyed most of this episode uh, there's nothing that i really uh, couldn't stand there was a couple of i i, I don't know writing issues or editing issues especially when they were talking about the game starting and um, it was a hit in eight hours there's lots of little things like that to nitpick at in all of these titans episodes and so uh, with that that was something that was uh, just sort of stuck out but i would still give it probably uh, just a good solid b b minus okay um, i enjoyed the episode all right everybody with that um, thanks for listening and watching the show please subscribe to the channel it it really helps me out. Uh, smash that like button and comment below so we can talk about the episode. Uh, we don't seem to be doing a lot of that, and that's uh, one of the reasons I'm out here is to discuss what's going on in the episode. If you don't agree with me, uh, do a comment and let's talk about it and see what see what happens. All right, everybody, have a great day, and I'll see you next time on the Fandom Realm.